Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor, for those of you that don't know, and in today's video we are going to be talking about my most used cheats in The Sims 4. These are 15 of the best cheats that you're going to need in The Sims 4. These are money cheats, building cheats, just kind of all around different kinds of cheats that you might need at any point that can honestly change the way that you play the game and make your gameplay more fun. They definitely help me in almost any situation in The Sims and can really make sure that your game is a little bit more streamlined and you can do a couple things you aren't able to do without them. But before we jump into my most used cheats in The Sims 4, I would just ask you guys to please hit that subscribe button. We are nearing very close to 5,000 subscribers and I would be so thankful if you joined the club. Alright, so let's just jump in. So before we can do any real cheating, we have to know how to cheat and how to open up the cheat dialog box and all of that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control, Shift, and C on your keyboard. And as you can see, that's going to open up this white dialog box in the top left-hand corner. I do get a lot of questions asking how to close this when you're done cheating, and all you want to do for that is hit Escape on your keyboard, or you can also hit Control, Shift, C again, and it will also close the box. So the first thing we're going to talk about is enabling cheats or testing cheats true. Now this is one of the best cheats in the game because it allows a lot of other cheats to work and it will also give you a couple options when you shift click on certain objects. So we're just going to hit enter and of course get rid of that welcome wagon. We don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> so one of my favorite things to do in the game when I'm getting really irritated with my sims is to go over to their mailbox when testing cheats true is enabled. So what you want to do is you want to hold down shift and click on this and then you get some different options than you normally would. So when you click on a mailbox normally, you just have get mail or pay bills. And if you have university, you have the university options. But if you hold down shift and click on it, you'll have the option to reset the mailbox. You can also set it as head, which is just ridiculous. Or you can alter needs. This allows you to turn off the needs of your household. This allows you to fill the needs of all of your, the members of your household. So you can just hit alter needs, fill needs household, and then all of the needs for every sim in your household is going to go up to completely green. You can also do this for the entire world, or you can disable or enable the needs decay. So you could have it where none of your sims needs are going to go down. I know that some players don't really like taking care of their sims. They just kind of like exploring the worlds and all of that. So that's a really, really helpful cheat. Another thing that I find myself having to do all the time with testing cheats is resetting my sim. So sometimes your sims might become unresponsive, which can be very annoying, <laughs> but all you have to do for that is turn on that testing cheats true, and then hold down shift, click on your sim, and then hit reset object debug, and then they'll kind of just start from scratch. And since she was talking to these two, it kind of debugged them as well, which is fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. So now we'll go into some of the money cheats that I use honestly all the time. Now this family already has quite a bit of money because I already cheated their money. But what we can do here is we can open up that dialog box with Control shift c and then you can use any of these cheats. So the first one is ka -ching, and when you hit enter, your sims will get a thousand simoleons. Then we have mother load, which is 50,000 simoleons. Then we have the family funds cheat where you type in money leave a space and then type in whatever amount of money you want and it will give you that exact amount of money in your sims household funds the next sheet is cast full edit mode now this is really really helpful if you have a sim whose traits you want to change or if you want to change up their skin tone or their facial structure or anything like that there's a lot of things you can't do um, when you try to change their appearance in a mirror or modify them in cast in a normal way so what you need is cast dot full edit mode and when you hit enter on that you can go into cast on any sim even townies and be able to change everything about them so this is really good for townie characters because you can go in and completely change their facial structure even after they have been created so you can see i can make her entire like everything different you can change their traits uh, you can go in and chain you can even like age them up or age them down from this yeah so you're able to change just about everything with cast dot full edit mode so it's a really really helpful cheat but I definitely use this one a lot with towny characters. If I don't like the way that they look, you can honestly just go to the street, see Eliza Pancakes, and give her a makeover by shift-clicking on her and choosing Modify and Cast after you've used this cheat. So the next ones we're going to go into are a couple of build mode cheats. Now, these are some of my favorite cheats in the game because they make it just so much more fun to decorate. <laughs> the first one is going to be bb.moveobjectson. Now the way that The Sims works is that there is this grid system. So you have items where you can only place them within a grid. So let's turn move objects off for a second so that we can see how this would normally act. So you have 
you know, you can do half tiles, but you do have this grid system and then you can't place it so close to things. But when you have move objects on, move objects on, you're able to put it just about anywhere and you can get it a lot closer to items. You can put it inside of an item if you so choose. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. I like to use this for landscaping and decorating a lot because you can add different items really close together. So it's really fun for clutter items. So you can see there's a lamp here, but you normally wouldn't be able to like put this so close or let's find something else that's small or like have this in the corner there because it would just have the one clutter slot. So that's really nice. Another thing that I use in addition to the move object sheet is alt placing items, which is like kind of a cheat, but some people don't know about it. So if this is on the grid, it's going to either go into the couch or have that big gap. You might want it to be a little bit closer. So what you want to do is just hold down alt and then you can bring it like right to the back of the couch and have it kind of be super close. I also used it to place these little nesting tables there and you can use this for clutter items or wall decor, which is the thing I think I use it for the most because you might you might see that this is just placing on the grid, of course, but you might want it to be like up in this specific corner and you can alt place it to be up there. Another cheat that I use a ton for decorating, especially kids rooms, is resizing objects. Now the object I use this the most for is this dollhouse because I just think that it's too big. <laughs> And this item is actually functional if you make it a size smaller. So you can use the right square bracket key to make items bigger, which would obviously be ridiculous because that's insanity. Or you have the option to use the left square bracket key to make them a little bit smaller. Now this dollhouse is still functional when it's smaller, which is very nice. <laughs> a lot of the items will be, but you can resize just about anything. So you could have one of these, make them a little bit smaller, and the kids will still interact with them. It just might look a little weird to be honest <laughs> because they are a different size and they were animated to be the size that they are. Um, this is really really helpful for a lot of clutter and decor items. You know you may just want something to be a little bit smaller like if you have this folded clothing you might want to make it a size smaller so that it looks cuter in a kids room. Put a pile of folded clothing in that corner there for whatever reason or like this kids clutter you might want to make it a little bit smaller and just have it sitting there you know. It's just the right and left square bracket keys to do that. The next three cheats kind of all go in together. Um, they're all of the unlock cheats. So you can see that there are items in the game that are unlocked by reaching level five of the culinary career, level five of any career, there's always items. And your Sims receive them in their inventory when they hit these levels. But there is a cheat to unlock all of those. So you're gonna open up that cheat box and go bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. <laughs> and hit enter and you can see bb you can see ignore gameplay cheat is on so you want to go back to live mode and then go back into build mode and everything should be unlocked for you and then you can use these kinds of items there's also like the sink you know there's tons of items that are lockable in the game and you can only get them when you reach certain levels this is really good for a lot of the decor items because there are some really good items that are locked like a framed collector's magazine issue or any of these are all locked unless you hit specific levels of specific branches of specific careers. It's all just craziness. The next one is going to be bb.show bb hidden objects or the debug cheat. So we're going to do bb.show hidden objects. And then if you type in debug here and do a text text search for debug you can get a lot of items that you wouldn't normally be able to find so like rocks and <laughs> just weird you know household items that you would see around the house so like there's tools that they would use <laughs> when they're fixing something or I don't even know that's a that's a that's a hand that okay that's creepy uh, but different kinds of spoons and forks and tools and plates and you can honestly find so many things if you just kind of scour the debug menu and you can also use this if you're looking for a specific kind of fruit or a specific kind of seed you can search them by name and you'll be able to just grab one and plant it they also have some plants that you can find as well but you can see there's tons of books flowers fireworks weird things <laughs> that you wouldn't be able to find otherwise now another one that goes along with this is the bb.show live edit objects sheet. And this one is more for world objects. So you can look around and in the world where you can't live, like in areas like this, these kind of objects exist, they exist in the game, but they're just not available to you in the regular build by catalog. So 
You do have to do some digging for this kind of stuff, but there are a ton of different plants and things you normally wouldn't be able to find in this debug menu. Like there's different, there's also some different broken fencing and other things that you would just find around the world. So the next sheet we're gonna go over is the career promotion sheet. Sometimes I just don't wanna wait for my Sims to earn a promotion on their own. So I use this sheet all the time. Um, so you're gonna wanna make sure that testing cheats is enabled, which we already did at the beginning. And then the cheat is just careers dot promote a space and then the career name so for example she's in currently in the culinary career so we're just going to go culinary and hit enter and then she'll be promoted to the next level you can't pick like culinary and then 10 and make her go to level 10 you're going to have to do the cheat numerous times to make them to max it out but it's a pretty easy cheat to use and to remember i'll definitely have a link in the description down below to the article that we have all about this cheat because some of the names are different than the name of the actual career in the cheats so it's a little confusing sometimes so i'll definitely link that and then in that kind of same vein we have the skill cheats now, okay so the cheat is going to be stats.set underscore skill underscore level and then a space major underscore and then whatever skill you want them to get so we can do handiness 10 and she has maxed out her handiness skill it will appear here eventually there we go handiness level 10. i use this all the time when I just want my sims to you know, get promoted or move a little bit quicker or do something <laughs> because I find it really irritating sometimes to have to actually go in and do all of the like work. <laughs> sometimes I'm just a lazy sims player, that's what we're discovering. So the final cheat we're going to talk about is free real estate. So for this one, all you're going to type in is free real estate Oops. on and hit enter and then free real estate will be on and then you can move into any house on the entire menu without having to spend any of your own money. As you can see, it doesn't cost them any money. We can sell all of their furniture and purchase the home. And then when you go in, you can see they still have all of their 525,000 simoleons, but now they get to live in Del Sol Valley in the hills completely for free. So that free real estate cheat is definitely extremely helpful if you don't feel like paying for a house or if you're just starting out with a new family and you only have like the 20 or 30,000 simoleons that you get and you want to move them into something a little bit nicer just for storytelling or whatever. So that's definitely a cheat that I use very often. <laughs> And that's it for my 15 most used cheats in The Sims 4 and cheats that you must know to play the game. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this all the time. <laughs> I really hope you're having an awesome day wherever you happen to be in the world at this very moment, and I will see you guys next time.